Hi everybody, my name is Marlo Letterly. I'm the owner of Continue Crafts and the designer of Scrap and Easel and now Scrap and Easelette. We have had so many requests from customers asking for this product. Apparently a great number of you don't scrapbook but you do like to make cards and you don't need the full size Scrap and Easel to make cards. Now can you make cards on this? Absolutely and a lot of people do. There's no reason why you can't. But if you don't want anything this large and you just never scrapbook well, we finally addressed your concerns, and we are very proud to launch Scrap and Easelette. Our Scrap and Easelette name was chosen by our customers. I sent out an email blast and some blogging and so forth, and we had a contest with, I think it was over 600 name suggestions for this little easel. And it was hard to pick just one. I really like Scrap and Easelette, but I also like the card crafter. So we put them together. We have two winners, two people that are going to receive uh, the Scrap and Easelette Card Crafter, and they've been notified uh, via email. But I wanted to thank everybody for all those name suggestions. They were fantastic, and like I said, it was hard to pick just one, so we went with two. At any rate, here we have Scrap and Easelette. As you can see, much smaller than the original Scrap and Easel. And it's, it's, it's very similar, but it's got some, some design uh, differences as well, and we're going to show you all of those things here in just a minute. Uh, I'm going to go over my list this time because I don't want to forget everything. All right, we, uh, we are taking pre-orders now for Scrap and Easel. Uh, we expect delivery around mid-March. Uh, Scrap and Easel retails for $39.99 and it can be purchased on our website as I speak. It's available right now. Um, both of these easels made from the same manufacturer down in the St. Louis area, made in the USA. And I always like to say that because we're very proud of that. Uh, ladies, not too much is made in this country anymore. So, Scrap and Easelette, made in the USA. Uh, it, the, the magnet strength and everything, it's the same magnets, it's the same uh, in that regard. We have screen printed the grid onto Scrap and Easelette. It's not removable. It's screen printed right on the grid. Uh, Scrap and Easel original has the removable grids. And we did that because when we turn it into display mode, we needed the grids to be gone. But this easel, when it goes into display mode, you just do this, and we didn't need the grids. And to use display mode, though, this side is not magnetized. So if you want to use display mode for a class uh, to show people how to make a card, or you know, if you're videotaping for a blog or something like that, you still have a display mode. But what you're going to need is two magnets. And you're going to put one on the back and one on the front, and it'll hold your project in place. Okay, so you, we do have a display mode feature. We didn't think card makers would really need it that much, so we provided it, um, but it's a little different. You need a, it's a double magnet uh, type deal if you want to display your card or do any instruction. With that said, let's go back and take a look at Scrap and Easel Light again. Uh, I want to show you the magnet strength quickly and then we'll move on to something else. Um, this is a piece of chipboard. I guess it's chipboard, it's cardboardy, it's thick and one magnet holds it, okay? So these are very strong magnets. This lovely card I did not make. Most of you know I don't scrapbook. Uh, so my daughter put this together, but we're gonna have to mess it up now and take it apart because I wanna show you uh, what this easel, how you put it together and what it's gonna look like when you receive it. It's going to be about like this. It's very small, very compact, weighs about two pounds. Our dimensions are 11 by 11, and our grid size is 10 by 10. So what we're looking at here uh, is about a four and a half inch card to give you an idea. So the biggest card you're going to be able to do on this easel comfortably um, if you've got a, du a double faced card, if you're going to open, is going to be uh, five inches. Because if you open then you're going to go to ten inches and that's about it. If you want it to make bigger cards, you've always got Scrap and Easel original to do your larger cards. Okay. This easel is also uh, nice for any of your small projects, be it a tag. Um, this easel is very rigid. We wanted this one because we know you uh, card folks like to do stamping. So it's very rigid and will, it, it does very nicely with stamping. Um, I don't own any stamps except for my paid stamp and my bank stamps. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how it stamps. It's rigid, it's tough, it's, it, it's rigid enough to do your stamping, okay? Very nice for stamping. So, this is the easelette all stretched apart. Very different 
from, if you own a scrap and easel, you'll, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's very different than, than the original scrap and easel. And we put two large spines right here on scrap and easel. And the reason we did that is because, let's say you're in the middle of working on a card. Well, I'm never going to get this back the right way, but let's say you're working on a card and the doorbell rings or one of the kids starts screaming, whatever, and you have to dash off and you don't know when you're going to be able to get back, you can just close this up. There's a magnet right here. You'll, you, there's a bump. It's a strip magnet that matches this strip right here and it just closes right up, saves everything until you're ready to come back and finish your project. Okay? So that's why we made the bigger spine. So when you get scrap and easel at, it's going to look like this. Okay? And all you're going to do is open it up, flip everything to the back. There's another one of those strip magnets right here that matches this one, and you're just going to put it right on that magnet. Okay? Now this spine, this is kind of wobbly. Okay? We don't like that. But if you take and tuck this under, Okay, now you have your rigid surface. So you want to make sure that you're not working like this. You're not going to be happy. It's going to be too wobbly. So tuck this under, and now you have your rigid surface. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, a lot of you own the Scrap and Light Jumbo, and it's a wonderful product. Uh, we've sold quite a, quite a few of those and have had a lot of compliments from our customers on it. And uh, I'm sure some of you are wondering, is the... Scrap and Light Jumbo going to work with this product? And the answer is yes. Uh, we weren't sure for a while if that was going to happen or not because this design is so different. With original Scrap and Easel, do it from the side here, you just clipped Jumbo Light right to the back. There was plenty of room. Obviously on this easel, we don't have that capability. So if we figured out a way to get Jumbo Easel, easel on there, if I ever get through designing this card, I'll show you how to do that. So what we came up with was this. You're going to clip your jumbo light to the back with the clip, the top of the clip facing away from the easel and just clip it on the back and aim your light where you need it. Where's the little guy there? Here he is. Turn it on. So scrap and easelette will work with the jumbo light. We will be offering this as a bundle as well. And again, if you order this as a bundle, we're not going to ship anything until the easels come in in mid-March. So feel free to order the bundle, but it, nothing, if, nothing will ship with this order. We'll be shipping it together for you in mid-March. If you need your light sooner, let us know, and we'll send it on ahead. But unless you tell us differently, everything will ship mid-March. All right, I've got to check the list. We did all of it on the list. That's it. We did everything. If you have any questions, uh, email me at continuecrafts at AOL.com. Our website is continuecrafts, www.continuecrafts.com. Uh, you can go on the site and order this product. Again, it's available for pre-order for $39.99, and we're expecting delivery in mid-March. Thank you so much for all the emails, the phone calls, um, the comments on the blogs about how much you're enjoying your scrap and easel. And I think you're going to be just as pleased with this one. Thank you. Bye.